Hello, today we're going to be talking about person first language. What is person first language? It's referring to somebody by their first name first before you describe their disability. My name is Sherry Macantonio. I am the mother of a child with Down syndrome and this is my oh. friend Roberta. Oh, I, I, well, she knows my name too. My name is Roberta Curry and I'm a special education teacher. And that, that actually that's a great segue into our story about when you meet somebody with disabilities in the community and you're not sure how to approach them or what to say, please address them first. With the simple questions that you would give to anyone, like what's your name? How old are you? What, what are you doing today? Things like that. You, please don't look at their caregiver and ask those questions because if, if they can't answer, there will be a caregiver there to answer them for you. Yes, that's one thing with my son. Everybody always looks at me first um, to answer his questions. Like the doctor will be like, oh, how's he feeling? Everything okay? But I don't live in his body. I can't answer those questions. So those are questions you need to ask the person um, who has the disability. And if for some reason they can't answer or if they look to their caregiver or to their mom or dad, um, you know, then it would be more appropriate to go to the parent or caregiver to get that information uh, for some reason uh, if they can't answer. You know, and the CDC gives some wonderful guidelines and I will put a, um, a link um, in the description below uh, to the article about people with uh, a per, uh, person first language. And uh, another big thing that we had talked about in a previous video is about Rose's Law. And, um, you know, you want to be conscious of the words that you're using uh, with people with disabilities. Like you, MR has been stricken from the language and now that is referred as intellectual disabilities. Um, you know, language like that is just as offensive to somebody with disabilities that, you know, very much hurts them. They're people, they have feelings and, um, you know, they want to be included in everything, which I'm sure you Absolutely. see that as a teacher. Absolutely. And that's the thing to keep in the front of your brain. When you meet somebody with a disability, don't, don't be shy. Don't be scared. Don't think you're going to set them off or say something wrong. The only thing that you could do wrong is ignore them because just like anybody else, they want to be seen, heard, validated. Um, and this, this tip sheet from the, the CDC is absolutely delightful and user friendly. It gives you great, um, idea that to help you shift your, your thinking instead of saying uh, um, a, a person who is handicapped or disabled you're going to say a person with a disability mm -hmm. in other words just like it says it's person first language so you, you're not going to say he's he's um, the the down syndrome kid billy you're going to say billy who, who loves baseball and chocolate ice cream and he has down syndrome so billy's always going to be billy but he he also has these other things about him the disability isn't in the forefront of your it should be in the forefront of your thinking yeah. and i'm a statistics person so i'm going to give you a statistical fact here from the cdc um, disabilities is a part of the human experience and according to the cdc one in four or which is equal to about 61 million adults in the united states have some form of a disability so that that's quite a few people in in the united states alone um, you know, so be mindful of, of your interactions. Remember, they are people first. Um, their disability um, is a small part of who they are. But again, they have feelings like we do and want to be included like everyone else. And I see that raising a child with disabilities. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. Yes. The world is a better place. Yes, absolutely. When we all acknowledge and see each other for who we are as people. And if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you get more videos like this. And don't forget to like and share and help us out in the YouTube algorithms. Alrighty. Yeah, we'll see you in the cyberverse. Yes, appreciate you all. Thank you.